my mind. How do you feel about Awesome Floyd? fighter, great fighter. You know, he he's a little too into himself. You know, he should be. I was the same way too, but you have to come to reality some way. You have to, you have to bring your head down to God. We, you know, we're nothing to be angry. Buckle up because we have the wildest news for you today. Floyd Mayweather has finally broken his silence after being knocked down by one of Mike Tyson's brutal uppercuts during a sparring session. Yes, you heard that right. Iron Mike, the baddest man on the planet set Money Mayweather crashing to the canvas, and we've got all the details. Here's the backstory. Mike Tyson is making a return to boxing on November 15th, and his opponent is none other than Jake Paul, the YouTube star turned knockout artist who's been racking up wins like Thanos collecting Infinity Stones. Jake Paul has been on a tear lately, and Tyson knew he needed the best possible training to prepare for this highly anticipated bout. So, who better to spar with than the undefeated defensive genius Floyd Mayweather, but what started as a friendly sparring session took a wild turn when things got a little too heated and Tyson ended up knocking Floyd down with a devastating right hook. Let's dive into what happened. The sparring session began on a calm note. Both Tyson and Mayweather were feeling each other out, throwing some light jabs and working on their timing. It was all about getting a rhythm and figuring out how to handle each other's style. Tyson, known for his aggressive peekaboo style, was landing his punches with more and more force as the session progressed. Meanwhile, Floyd was doing what he does best, dodging and weaving, using his incredible footwork and defense to avoid getting hit. However, as the rounds went on, the intensity began to rise. Tyson, now fully warmed up, started throwing harder punches, and Mayweather found himself in a tougher spot. Tyson's infamous power was beginning to show, and Floyd couldn't dodge everything. Then, out of nowhere, Tyson unleashed a monstrous right hook that caught Mayweather square on the jaw. The impact was enough to send Floyd crashing to the mat. Tyson, even in his 50s, showed that his power is still very much a force to be reckoned with. Mayweather, always a composed fighter, was clearly stunned but tried to play it off after the fact. However, it was no small knockdown. Floyd was visibly bruised and had to be checked out by a doctor before catching a flight to Dubai. The big question that everyone's asking is how did a simple sparring session between two boxing legends escalate into what seemed like a championship-level brawl? Mayweather recently broke his silence on the incident. While he didn't offer too many details, it's clear that as the rounds went on, things became more competitive than expected. Both Tyson and Mayweather are known for their pride and competitive spirit, so it's not too surprising that what started as a light session evolved into a heated battle. In the end, it looks like Tyson got the better of Mayweather this time, but sparring is sparring and both men are still legends in their own right. As for Tyson, this session with Mayweather is just a part of his preparation for his upcoming bout against Jake Paul. With this kind of training intensity, it's safe to say that Tyson is not taking his return to the ring lightly. I just want to get a free towel. Just a number. It makes it look like I did something for you. Here's where it gets juicy. Floyd Mayweather claims that the uppercut Mike Tyson threw during their sparring session was no accident. According to Floyd, Tyson wanted to knock him out, and there's more to the story. Mayweather said, man, that uppercut was no accident. I knew Tyson had issues with me and my approach to the sport, but I didn't think he'd take it this far. Yeah, he's been critical of how I've handled things in boxing, but come on, I didn't think he actually tried to take me out like that. It was just a sparring session, but he made it personal. Can't even respect that. If he really wants to throw down, let's do it in front of the people. Be a real man. Floyd went on to explain more about his strained relationship with Tyson. I flew all the way from Dubai for the sparring session and that's how he treats me. Mike's jealous because unlike him, I finished my career with a perfect record. He's jealous because I helped fighters get paid what they deserve. I took the sport to the next level. Tyson has never been a huge fan of Mayweather. In fact, he's previously said that while Floyd is great at boxing, he's not necessarily great for boxing. And Tyson may have a point. Floyd's influence has made today's fighters more focused on money than the sport itself. As a result, we're missing out on the matchups fans really want to see because everyone is now chasing the big payday and Floyd is largely responsible for that shift in the sport. Himself, he's a little scared man, he's a very small scared man. When it was announced that Floyd was stepping in to help Tyson prep for the Paul fight, skeptics were everywhere, but this is a legendary duo in the making two of the greatest ever teaming of anything could go down or anyone Floyd Mayweather in this case. I mean Tyson, because he, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's, and the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is, everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live, his life. 
No one can say how what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Although Mike Tyson hasn't always agreed with Floyd's approach to his boxing career, Mayweather looked up to Tyson growing up. So when the chance to train with him came up, Floyd jumped on it. How do you feel about Floyd, though? Huh? How do you feel about awesome Floyd? Awesome fighter, great fighter. You know, he he's a little too into himself. You know, he should be. I was the same way too. But you have to come to reality some way. You have to you have to bring your head down to God. We, you know, we're nothing to be. Well, you expect us to be ignorant and arrogant. Look where we came from. That's why I asked the question earlier about you mentoring fighters, because I feel like I feel like Floyd looked at you growing up like every other fighter. And the persona and the lifestyle was like growing up in the hood. We looked at it like that's Mike Tyson. We see the cars, the jewelry, the the the, the flair. Like you was a you was a movie yeah, star. You was a you was a hero. I didn't see that. Once Floyd Mayweather and Mike Tyson stepped into the ring for their sparring session, all respect went out the window. They met up at Tyson's gym, where sparring is usually light work to stay sharp, but not this time. According to insiders, things got intense quickly. With two of the most competitive fighters on the planet, it was clear they weren't going to hold back. Both fighters have massive egos, and when they got into the ring, it was a battle to prove something. This sparring session quickly took the internet by storm. Sure, it wasn't a professional fight, but the fact that Mike Tyson knocked out Floyd Mayweather in sparring is still mind-blowing. We're talking about a boxer who's never been knocked down in his career. That's a huge deal and a reminder that even at 58, Tyson still packs incredible knockout power. Tyson, the youngest heavyweight champion in history, is showing that he's still got it. His power hasn't faded with time, and if he brings that same intensity into the ring against Jake Paul, it could be lights out for the YouTuber. Let's be real. If Floyd Mayweather, with all his skill and defense, couldn't hang with Tyson, what's Jake Paul going to do? Jake better start calling up Disney because after Tyson is done with him, stepping back into the ring might not even be an option. So what's next for Floyd Mayweather? Known for his ego and pride, you know he's not going to let this knockout slide, even if it was just sparring. With his unbeaten professional record, this kind of loss, even unofficial, stings. It wasn't surprising when Floyd called out Tyson for a real fight, wanting to settle the score. Mayweather has the power and influence to make this matchup happen. This is the same guy who once hired a referee mid-fight just because he didn't like the calls, so making a Floyd vs. Tyson showdown isn't that far-fetched. In fact, a fight between Mayweather and Tyson could be on the horizon. After dominating John Gotti IE, Floyd wasted no time getting back to training, this time with Shaker Stevenson. You know those training sessions are going to be next level intense. Floyd's back in the gym, and there's got to be a reason behind it. If that reason is a fight with Mike Tyson, we could be looking at the fight of the century. With both legends still in top form and neither willing to back down, this potential bout could easily become one of the most anticipated events in boxing history. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.